Many of those people are calling for police body cameras, and today we learn more about what it would take to make that happen. Sheriff Mike Williams says he supports the use of body cameras. He even released some facts and figures. He said there are two challenges, funding and sustainability. The startup cost is between three and five million dollars. It's not something a grant can pay for because grants do not automatically reoccur each year. The financial commitment must be sustained once it begins. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway joining us live from police headquarters. Ethan, many people in the community are really pushing for this, especially since the shooting on Sunday. Joy, they are. They're calling for increased transparency within the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. And many are questioning Bing's actions leading up to uh, what happened this weekend. The high-speed chase, uh, police say he let officers on and then intentionally crashing his car into a JSO cruiser. But still, there's one thing everyone here on all sides can agree on, and that is that everyone needs more information on exactly what happened this weekend. It was the second day of rallies at the intersection where Vernell Bing Jr. was shot, but today's event took on a different, quieter tone. Cooking out, coming together, and supporting Bing's family were the goals, all while building up this growing memorial. We hate building these, but it's a constant reminder of the police brutality in this city, the excessive force that's used on this particular community. Dilo Saku is with the group The Comedic Empire, helping to organize today's event. He calls what happened here an example of continued police brutality against the black community. We want the officer who shot Vernell Bing to be arrested and fired. We want body cameras. We also want cameras for the vehicles that patrols uh, predominantly black neighborhoods. Those body cameras have become a hot topic since this weekend's shooting. Calls for JSO to implement the technology have grown louder since Bing's death, with many saying video would shed light on exactly what led to the shooting. But the sheriff's office has said the budget to equip an agency this size just isn't there. Sheriff Mike Williams says he is in favor of the cameras, but has no plan in place for how or when they'll get them. We generally want to empower the community as well, not just out here dealing with the reactionary uh, and being emotional, but using this moment to educate and empower the community. And that group was handing out these brochures at that event tonight. They give instructions on exactly how to file a complaint with the Department of Justice. Tonight, the investigation into that shooting continues. We're live at JSO headquarters, Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, the local station.